Hey, my name is Amir and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully this video turns out okay. This is the first time that I am using my new camera. So I finally got the Canon 700D. Um, let me know how the audio is, but I am going to be buying a microphone soon. So yeah, yeah. Um, I have already filmed this video, um, but on my old camera, so I thought why not use the new camera um, and have a play around and we'll see how it goes. Um, you guys requested a while ago me to um, do a tutorial on this uh, just like really glowy wearable look that was like super easy um, but still pretty glam. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to do a few things different because I kind of do this makeup often, but like with different steps to achieve like a similar outcome. Uh, so yeah, the only thing will be, that will be like super different is like the eyelashes because I had my eyelash extensions done again yesterday. But yeah, let's get into the tutorial. I'm starting out with the Becca Backlight Primer. This look is about being really, really dewy luminous. Um, if you've got oily skin, uh, you may want to leave out some of the uh, dewy stuff, like maybe instead of like a dewy um, primer like I'm using now, you might want to do like a mattifying primer and then just like the dewy foundation or something, uh, so yeah. And then I'm going to take the NYX pore filler um, just across here where I get some really big pores. I'm kind of tapping it into the skin as well because you want it to go into those pores to kind of fill them in and stuff. Then for foundation, I've been loving the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm gonna pop a bit of this on. I'm gonna see how it goes though, because sometimes it's not quite dark enough for my tan. It's like a little bit light and a little bit neutral. Um, I don't know why I bought this shade. I don't know what I was thinking. I tried a few and this one was kind of like the best one that I could find. Uh, but now that I have it, I'm like, oh. But it means I can use it like mixing it with other foundations. But it's also a pretty good colour for when my fa uh, my fake tan is like at the end of its at the end of its span. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Um, this is 4.0, so it is quite yellowy and stuff. Um, so I just mix them together a bit on my face. You can use like a mixing palette, but I am much too lazy for that. A mixing palette? Who are we? Who are we? So these foundations aren't the most dewy and luminous, but with the luminous primer, um, they're going to be good. If you use like a mattifying primer, they will be a bit more mattifying. Um, so only do that if you are quite oily. Um, just because we do want it. This look is about being like flawless but fresh. So that's another reason why I'm using the sponge. The sponge that I did not clean properly this morning, but. Then I'm taking my beloved NYX, um, what is it actually called? Dark Circle Concealer Corrector. Just call it Dark Circle Corrector. Um, I use the shade Medium because it's like super peach, but I just pat it in here. Now, do not follow the trends that show like to bring it out in a triangle like you would for highlighting. Just do that for highlighting. Um, yeah, you do not want to do that. You do not want to do that for corrector. Or it's going to correct the dark circles, but it's going to throw orange everywhere that you're not actually dark. Um, and then your highlighting concealer that you put on top is going to have to correct the, like cover and correct the orange. So it just, no, just, just. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer Medium Golden. So this matches my skin tone. So I'm just taking it in the deepy, deepy bit of the bag right in here. I'm going to, I need a little bit of coverage in here um, on the top of my eyebrow I could highlight up here but I won't this look isn't about being super highlighted just a little bit with some scarring here pimple there pimple here oh my goodness pimples everywhere today then I'm taking YSL's uh, Too Chiclat in shade I believe this is yeah this is two um, I like this because, yeah, it's nice and highlighty, um, but it isn't, like, very good coverage. So, um, like, my base is pretty, like, well covered, so it's not like I really need to add more coverage to these areas. I just kind of want to lighten them up a little bit. So, that's why I like this. I am really interested to try their, um, I saw they have, like, 
correcting shades of Touche Eclat. So I would be very interested to try the peach one for my baggies, just to see if it did have a bit more coverage, or even if it just had peach but really sheer, it could be enough. It could be. It could be. Who knows? Who knows? Now I've got my lashes done, I'm going to get to take advantage of this mini beauty blender again. So I don't want foundation all over my fresh lashes. So little. Yeah, I always sit under my eyes. So I'm taking the Anastasia contour kit and the banana and the non-banana shade. And I'm just sitting under my eyes, just, just under my eyes. Just so it doesn't start creasing. But we're going to do just a little bit of um, cream highlighting and blushing. Maybe bronzing. Probably bronzing. Um... So yeah, you just want to stop the eye area from creasing. So I'm taking this. This is Becca's Beach Tint in Watermelon Moonstone. Um, it's very pretty. Very pretty pink. Blends really, really nicely as well. Just all over the cheek area. Starting at the apples and up onto the higher bit of the cheek. Not all the way back, but if you bring it back more, good on you. It doesn't really matter too much. If you can see where the blush placement is at the moment, if you were to smile and apply it, um, it would kind of drop. Whereas I've kind of already applied it, like, you know, to where I want the high points to be, if that makes any sense at all. I don't know, probably not. But yeah, anyway, now we're going to take Benefits WhatsApp. Um, this is quickly becoming one of my favorite, favorite cream highlighters. Um, oh, see this. See the glow, see the glow, and yeah, you do need to um, rub it in a little bit, but yeah, I love it, it's so pretty, I don't use a little spongy on the end, I just like to rub it in with my finger, but it's super pretty, it's like, definitely more on the champagne side, but it's not too yellow, so it would seriously work for like, so many skin tones. Um, maybe not super super deep. You could definitely try it out though at a benefit counter because it's not super opaque so it could kind of adapt I imagine a little bit. Oh my goodness I'm getting all sneezy. I'm just going to take some face powder. This is Napoleon Apertus camera finish. This is like my old compact. The black. That's super old. Super super old. They haven't had the black compact in years. Oh well. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of dusting it mainly through the center and whatever's left on my brush on the cheeks because we're going to pop some um, bronzer on. So yes, uh, for bronzer I'm going to take the Morphe M529, so it's a little bronzy brush. I'm going to take, if I can find it because this place is a mess, a mess. I'm going to take Benefits Hula. I can't find it. I can bronze all over with this. But I do really like it for contouring because it is more on that cool tone side. Uh, so for me, um, since I'm quite fake tanned, I do prefer to actually bronze with something a little bit warmer. But yeah, this is like the perfect contour shade because it's not too grey and ashy. Um, but it is definitely cooler than a regular bronzer. And I just kind of more contour my cheeks, tap it on the sides of my nose. I'm not a big nose contour person. This makes my nose look more weird. Um, then I'm going to take the Dusty Girls uh, bronzer on, let's say this brush. This is Artiste Professional Soft Focus Blush Brush. Kind of pat it. And this is super pigmented, so then I'm tapping it on my hand. I'm just going to swirl them on the cheeks. And then a little bit up on the sides of the forehead and apparently mess up my hair everywhere as well. For eyebrows, um, since mine have been tattooed on, I always like to take some micellar water. Um, this is the Avene one um, for problem skin. So yeah, I use that when I'm breaking out and stuff to help take off my makeup. Um, and since it's out, I'll just use it through my eyebrows just to remove any foundation. And I don't know if you can see, there's like a quite a lot of foundation in there so um, and then it means that instead of drawing on my brows completely again from scratch I only have to do a couple strokes if that sometimes just brow gel uh, so I don't quite understand all these beauty people getting their brows tattooed and then drawing them on completely again when like Look at them, now that I've removed them, they're like pretty much good to go. This is 
benefits precisely my brow. It's like the cutest brow pencil ever in the whole world. Um, we're going to spool them up. And I got um, at the Benefit event the other last week, um, Hannah, the Benefit brow expert, she um, gave me some tips on my brows for blending my tattoo in a little bit better. So I've been trying that and I do like it. And this pencil, I love skinny pencils. Like I really, really love skinny pencils. Um, you guys will know that like back when I used to not have my brows tattooed and I would draw them. I loved, love like the little micro tip pencils just to kind of get those little hair strokes. I set them in place. This is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Sculpt. I also really do like the Benefit Gimme Brow, but the shade I have is too light. Um, but I like this to kind of fluff up the natural hairs, just to give a little bit more texture. I love me some textured brows. I'm going to take this. This is High Brow from Benefit in the champagne shade. Just to highlight under the arch. And I don't like to do super highlighter, so I like to just put it under the arch. And I used to have the pink one of these, like the matte pink one. Um, and I found it really hard to blend. But this one is actually, because I've reformulated them, so much easier to blend. So much easier to blend. And that's pretty much the base. Um, now we're going to take just like a fluffy blending brush. And that one is clean. Uh, we're going to take some of our bronzer. I'm going to take Hula because it's a bit more neutral tone. Because um, you guys know I love the warm tones, but neutral tones are more flattering on more people. Warm tones, super warm, can sometimes make you look a little bit tired. A little bit tired, which I'm aware of at the moment because I am very tired. I'm going to take it under the eye. Seriously, this look was so, so, so simple, but with like the big lashes, you can make anything look glamorous. I'm going to take a bit more of this highbrow, just for the inner corners. And I'm pretty sure I used a cream eyeshadow from Inglot for my base in that look. Um, but waterproof stuff, you're not meant to get any eyelash extensions. So what we're going to do today is... I'm going to take this Nude by Nature single shadow, gorgeous rose gold packaging in 10 coral. So it's just like a pretty corally shade. Any like neutral, warmish neutral shimmery shade over the lid is going to do the trick for this kind of look. Yeah, this is probably pinker than what I did use, but it's still super pretty. These lashes are so big, I'm not used to them. Then you want to take lipstick in a nudish shade, in a mere fashion. Yeah, that one's nice. This is um, Rimmel 700 Naughty Nude. And that's the finished makeup look. Obviously, you'll put mascara on this um, and lashes if you wanted. But yeah, I just want to keep it nice and light and fresh and glowy and luminous and yeah. Oh, setting spray. Maybelline Master Fix. And that's that. I hope you liked it. I gotta run now so I'm not late for work. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.